Good morning, everyone. How we doing? The entirety of Miami is here. Checking in, Miami is here. Let's go, Miami. <laughs> Chuckle stuff, 15 months of sub, and Susan H, 25 months of sub, and good morning. Good morning to both of y'all. How are y'all doing today? How are y'all doing today? <clears throat> We're doing good here, allegedly. Um, we got some bad news. <laughs> um, my virus petri dish of a son has COVID again, so that's cool. Um, I don't think it's going to affect me traveling next week. Uh, same thing happened a few months ago. Didn't affect the rest of us in the house. He's felt bad for a couple days. He'll be back again tomorrow. He's already feeling better, but like it's school is just that Petri dish. Um, but yeah, he tested positive yesterday. So that's what I got going on in my life, right? <clears throat> he's the one, he's the one that gets all the things, right? He's the one that gets the, uh, the random fevers, the random viruses where we all stay fine. So none of us are positive. None of us are showing symptoms. So as long as we stay that way through the weekend, uh, I should be good to go for next week. So I'm not really, I'm not overly concerned about it, but it's like, come on. It's like, really? <clears throat> so he's doing better already. Um, you know, he's been, he, he was been to school the last two days. And but he started feeling worse yesterday, so he's home the rest of the week and go from there. So good times. Looking forward to the flu and colds. I know we haven't even started like flu season yet, so Ooh. what a mess, <clears throat> chat. What a mess. So you never know. So yeah, that's what's going on here. So that was. Get the picks from Annabelle. I haven't, uh, I mean, I talked to her. I can get the picks that I want. Um, she has approved the picks, but I have not looked at that any further. Um, it'll probably be after, I might, I might get to it next week. It, you know what? It might be a good Monday after San Francisco pen show post. I need to think about I need to put it on my schedule, but I have approved everything. Yes. Yeah, my youngest is the one who brings everything home from school. Yeah. Yeah. So like, <clears throat> I was that kid when I was younger. I was the one who always brought home the, the germs and like my daughter's been fine. My wife is fine. I'm generally fine. Um, although I do get it more like I would be, the, I'm usually the next one to get it in the house. So me and my son are the, are the carriers. <clears throat> Can't bring my kids much anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Save you time after a show. Right. Cause I usually don't write a review for Monday after the show. Checking in from the meteor. Meteor Critical Science Society Conference in Glasgow. Wow. That sounds cool. If it's meteor meteorological. I can't even say that word. You can't spell it. I can't say it. So you can't hear me anyway. So nothing's going to change. But enjoy. Enjoy. <clears throat> My youngest nephew started daycare at six months old and he already has a cold. It's nonstop. It's nonstop. Just finished two bouts of pink eye with the girls. That's great. Yeah, that stuff's rampant. We had that one time, like my daughter got that, I think, or was it my son? One of them got it, and somehow it didn't jump everybody. I remember that. <clears throat> All right, let's talk about pins today. What's up? What's up? How are y'all? What's up? Anyone wants to talk about pins? <clears throat> Doing story time, yeah. Hello, JBK. We had horrible traveling pink eye. Yeah, kids are just gross. Facts. It's like, <laughs> I said I was going to get off of this, but I don't. It's like, my son's sick, right? So he just dumps all his clothes in the in the bathroom and he goes to take a shower. And I was like, pick your stuff up. I don't want to touch this crap. <laughs> we can talk about Pelican. The new Pelican is out. The new Pelican. Let's pull this up here. Oops. So they are doing the Appetite Special Edition, which looks great. New Gravitas Ultim Pen for only 95 euro. I have not seen that. That looks good. I like I like Ben's pen shapes. We were talking about pen shapes the other day about how I have a type, right? Like the simple, the simple stuff um, is my type. What's up, Miss G's Crafties? <clears throat> Speaking of Miss G's Crafties, number one, I need to find out about. Um, classes for Orlando. Number two, 
I'm not going to go to Orlando until early Friday morning. So I was going to come in Thursday night to Orlando, but I got a little change here in the schedule. So we're going to do that. Saw the blog post for the Prime from Mythic. It looks nice. That material looks ridiculously good. <clears throat> yeah, I was looking yesterday because I signed up for my San Fran classes, so I don't have those yet. And also, I'm not going to come in. I was planning on coming in Thursday night, like late evening, and I'm just going to come in. Fr I'm going to get up like uh, I'm going to get up like 5 a.m. Friday and just drive um, and get there, save a night, uh, save a night at the hotel, and uh, still get there by like noonish on Friday, and then not leave till Sunday. So that'll be good. The mythic pen is so sparkly; it was hard to show how much is going on with it. That was a hard one to give up because it was so pretty. Like I picked that one out like based on my tastes of style, but also knowing that I was not going to keep it. Um, so that one, you kind of definitely got some of my flavor in, in what I would pick out for a pen, even though I wasn't necessarily picking out for you or me or anyone, but I knew it wasn't going to be mine, but I thought it was pretty cool. <clears throat> wave as you drive past me. Nice. Well, if you're going to be there for a day, I'll wave to you in person. I'll wait for you in person. Enjoy Orlando. I will. I will. It's going to be good. <clears throat> if he does a dyed Ultim, I wonder if Ultim is able to be dyed. Well, it's writing my new short story this week. It looks spectacular, right? Like even uh, if that fine nib works for you, like I think it looks like it looked like it was like, ah, yeah, that's a nice, nice pen, nice pen. So anyway, <clears throat> yes, it can be. There he is. Sneaky Ben. Hope you had a good time in DC. Hope it was a good pen show for you, Ben. Um, we should do some follow-up on on your DC event, um, maybe sometime when I'm I'm done traveling. We'll we'll revisit uh, our chat maybe in the in the fall sometime. <clears throat> What's up, Killer Sheep? Thank you for the 16 months of sub. I hope you're doing well. You're up bright and early this morning. I appreciate you hanging out. <clears throat> Need you to stop in my town. If you need to stop in my town for coffee, let me know. All right, I'll look at that. You, I have, I think I have your address in my in my inbox. Um, we'll see. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, Friday morning, I'm gonna need coffee at some point if I'm leaving that early. Sixteen months, right? Oh, so I was looking, chat. You know how we were talking about how how many. Um, how long I've been streaming and how many of y'all are like creeping up on like 40 months of subs. When I click on my name in chat, it says like 50 months of subbing or something like that. Like it, mine is like automatic, right? Since I'm the channel owner, it gives me the little icon. But since I never type anything, oh, there it is. Like in Killer Sheep's thing, 50 month subscriber, tier three. So I guess I've been a partner or an affiliate for 50 months now. Um, so that's pretty wild <laughs> over four years on Twitch. Who knew that this would, I like, who knew that this was going to be like a big part of the, the weekly routine. It's pretty fun. I, I do miss it when I don't get the chance to do it. <clears throat> I like fountains, but I use gel ink for the daily cause I'm too lazy for ink or they need gel inks with nice acrylic shells, pretty as the prime. <sighs> so we talked about, so the short version is you could get something made. Okay. The longer version is that there are different premium options, either that companies make themselves that range from like 20 to a hundred dollars or you're getting into the machine pin, right? So like I have two pins here, like we, in the Secura, let me switch this back. We'll talk about this Pelican in a second. So I have two Secura pins here. Both of these are like $50 gelling pins, right? Mike Allen is what? Starting that up to what? Tell me the Mike Allen thing. I haven't, I don't know what you're talking about. Is he going to start making non-fountain pen pens? Morning, Thunder Viking. Hope you're doing well. I started watching Twitch because of you and one other planner person. The community has grown so much. I love it, and I hope it keeps growing. Like, I, this is really, is, is really one of my favorite things I do. Um, and we're just going to keep doing it, right? Y'all are stuck with me. Sorry. Sizzling Cloud, good morning. Hope you're having a good day as well. So... Woodworth, LD Woodworth. So like these are like $50 gel ink pens, right? And then you have like machine pens, like this is a spoke pen that I helped design, right? And this fits the Uniball Signo DX, 
right? So you can do things like this. Oh, when Mike cleared out his inventory, I thought he made an announcement he was going to focus on a cheaper rollerball in the future. I got you. I watch you, Mike, and Burb Liz. I still don't know how to use Twitch. Well, I think that's enough. You got the you got the right uh, you got the right feed. Um, so when I work, so like I'll work a lot here, but not on this computer. So sitting at this desk, I'll have this monitor up, and I have a side monitor here. That's when I switch. To this this is what y'all see this is the monitor over here but when I work I'll just get my laptop out and put it right here and then I'll have like a twitch stream going over here or YouTube going over here um, and I, I like I watch a lot of video game streamers because like this will sound weird to say this is almost a chat where you, you pay a little bit attention to what like we're talking about hey we might be talking about a specific thing like we're about to talk about this pen but like a gaming one if there's someone whose voice and style I enjoy, that can just be my background, right? And I can just be working and then background, then I might pop up every now and then or something. So yeah, that's how I use Twitch, so. <clears throat> and then like I'll follow some of the, a lot of the stationary people as well. What gaming streamers do you like? I mostly watch uh, King Gathalion now that he's back on Twitch. I was a long time subscriber to him before he went to Mixer. I followed him to Mixer and then he went to Facebook. I did not follow him to Facebook because I don't have a Facebook account. And then as of uh, like six weeks ago, he's back on uh, Twitch. So, and he streams. The reason why I like him is because he streams at the hours I'm working. He's like a daytime streamer, like 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. type of thing. Um, that dude, Dev, who pops in the chat here, um, does sports streaming. So I follow him. He's a good dude. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the main, like only a few. Then I follow, you know, the stationary people and the art people like Liz um, and Mike and uh, another very, very cool people. So yeah, that's how I've used Twitch for over 10 years now. Works well enough for background noise to keep me focused. Right. Like you don't have to be like completely dialed in to Twitch. Um, where YouTube, YouTube is actually distracting to me unless I can put on a live event right what's up annabelle i saw uh annabelle's uh secret twitter account followed me uh today <laughs> so i followed them back sneaky 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 so um and then i'll watch um there's a one or two i forget the no man's sky streamer i follow uh i forget <clears throat> when will strings and pedals start streaming maybe one day A <laughs> secret. <laughs> I don't know how to Twitter unless it's about F1. You're a good Twitter F1 follow. All right, let's talk about this pen. What do y'all think? I mean, that's like, whoa. I was trying to embiggen. All right. I mean, pelotonmarketing.com, right? That's like legit good. I'm awful at Twitter, so my wife does not do a lot of social media. So she was watching me do Twitter yesterday. She's like, because I, I said, we were watching Pickleball, and I said, I'm going to text, I'm going to tweet this Pickleball guy about something. And I was sitting next to her. She's like, I don't understand anything that you're doing. And I was like, yeah, like I can see how like just weird it looks watching me, uh, watching me on Twitter. It's nice, but it's been done. That's why I was curious if they were going to do it, right? Between Aquamarine and... Um, what was the other one? There was another one besides Aquamarine. A little darker blue. If it didn't already have Sailor Lucky Charm, I'd buy it. That's why I was curious that Appetite was the choice to begin with. It's the, the most basic ink they've done in a while, right? And that's irrelevant from whether it's good or not. Like, it's completely great. It's also super normal. I'm finally watching what we do in the shadows, OMG, right? After about three episodes or four episodes, maybe half the first season, I was like, this is literally the show, maybe the best show that I've ever seen in my life. Um, but again, like it's not for everyone. Like, like my wife would just think it's stupid. Like we couldn't get along. We probably wouldn't watch that together, right? But I, I legitimately, it's just so smartly funny. I, I really like that. I like the color, but I'm not sure I would use the 200 size very much. I get that. <clears throat> Plus, these are generally about what 160 170 price price point um they're not cheap for what they are like you, like the black i remember when i bought my black 205 which i still own which i feel still think is like one of the greatest pelicans ever i only paid like a little over 100 
Never saw that show, but the original movie was great. I think I'm going to rent the movie or buy the movie before I go to San Francisco. I have a bit, but I have a lot of TV I'm going to, I'm saving for San Francisco. I think it's a really cool color. Personally, I'm not a fan of sparkly pens. So I'm glad. Yeah, I'll still buy it. You know what I think looks great? The ballpoint looks spectacular. I'm ready to consult on gemology anytime, Pelican. I'm right here. Pelican doesn't communicate with us plebes. So, <clears throat> as good as they are about the outreach and like the, the Pelican hubs or stuff, there's like no line of contact to Pelican, Lamy, any of the big companies. Like, we're really like segmented off from most of them. That ballpoint looks amazing, though. I might, I might get the ballpoint. Tony will still buy it. Tony has them all. Like, this is, if you're a Pelican collector or a Pelican fan, like, this is an insta buy, right? It, it's, it just is. It's awesome. That ballpoint's intriguing, though. Not going to lie. Does that ballpoint use a proprietary refill? No. They're a Parker style, so you could swap it out. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they use, even if they don't make their own, they might use Schmidt, like, you know, white-labeled Schmidt stuff. I don't know. I'll have to ask. I'll have to go double-check. But I think it's just... Um, basically like Schmidt easy flow type stuff. I still need last year's shimmer gold one. Yeah. Question is the uni Signo 307 equivalent to the DX? No, they use different inks, different feel and the 307 independently great. Not as many options as the DX 307 greater than DX. That is, I think the 207 is better than the 307. The 307 ink is a little, not my favorite, but I also can't get it in like a microfine tip. So <clears throat> I recently rediscovered the 307. Love it. 307 is awesome. I just prefer the 207. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit different ink formulation and it's perfectly fine. I like the look of the ballpoint better than the fountain pen. It's, it's, it's pretty good. I don't love the 207. The 207 I will say that the 207 is a little bit sketchy outside of the black. I think the 307 is better like in the blues and reds and the black is like equivalent. Like the 207 blue is not good. I will admit that. How much of the 207's preference is the micro fine tip? Some, but like I'm just saying like the 207 blue is not good. It generally doesn't work well. 307 is better in that case. DX is better than all of them. RT1 is better than all of them. So there you go. <clears throat> All right. So I just want a good white fine Signo white barrel or white ink because I bought some limited edition white barrel 207 micros off of eBay one time. And I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to send you something anyway, ink. So, yeah, they're not going to make it finer than 1.0 millimeter, I don't think, right? Just because of flow, ink flow issues, right? They have the best 1.0 millimeter, but I just don't know how they could make it any finer and the pen actually work. That ink's just problematic. So, despite being, like, the best at what it does, it's still, you know, it's not like using a, a standard black ink. I forgot the model number for the pocket size Pelican 101 in like that size. What do you, what do you, what are we referring to here? 307 puts down way more ink than the 207, which if you want a wet pen, that's good. I like the 207 more because I find the 307 a little unwieldy because of how wet it is. Mafia geek is saying what I tried to say. I have the teeny tiny one palm of my hand. That sounds even smaller than the 101 in. I had a small panic attack last night that I have more than two pins. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to be present in this stream and um, and be a pen minimalist as as much as we at much as we uh, uh, act like we want to be. Where are my chemists at? Make it work, please. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, you want the white ink? That's that's goals right there. We need to get pilot on that. Did y'all see? Did y'all see the new pilot marketing yesterday? I might not ever get to the zebra box. We need to watch this. 
Let me see if I can find it real quick. If someone can find it before me. Maybe it's on their Instagram. Y'all gotta watch this. It's great. Oh man, that didn't even own pilot pen. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get to the zebra box. Pilot Corporation, Pilot Pen USA. Which one is it on? Yeah, here it is. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> All right, let's watch. God, dog it. All right, let's watch. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Hey guys, you have to check out these new Pilot G2 collections. Amazing. Get writing. <laughs> this way, that part's fine. Mineral art collection. Get your harmony collection. Get your candles out. Where are my crystals at? Special edition vanishing point style paint jobs. Gradient editions. I hope you all love these G2 pens as much as I do. These collections rule and they're yeah. available at Target. So click on the link below. Click on the link. All right. That's the Pilot Woo series. <laughs> you can get your crystals out. All right, so now if they did scented candles matching, you know I would buy that. Can we get some more gradient vanishing points, Pilot? They're coming out with the marbled ones. Did y'all see the marbled ones? Are they even on this page? I don't think Pilot USA does the fountain pens on this page. What was the specialness of the Harmony ones? They're infused with woo. It's just all barrel, it's just all barrel colors. Barrel wraps, look like wraps. Pin pal question, I'm usually a block letter writer, but I have to join up Palmer in my arsenal, although I'm struggling to write first response with decent speed and make no space using the joined up. Should I spare my recipient and make the letter block letters? Um, I think you should practice join up. Like, I, why not? Yeah, practice. I, I say go for it. I say go for it. Why not, right? Yeah, your pen pals don't care about your handwriting. Marble ones are meh for me, gradients where it's at. Uh, same page, Dormouse Desk. Let's see if I can find those real quick. If they're on here. They really don't like to market their fountain pens. There's zero Shizuku cartridges, but no vanishing points. Do any of these have vanishing points on them? Pilot Pen Nepal, probably. No Pilot fountain pens anywhere pilot pen Nepal you're my only hope good morning Tess um, dr. grip custom friction Mickey's what is this Got my Euro cards yesterday, kind of pricey as we talked about it already. They're stamped, labeled with the ink. Well, that's good. <clears throat> that's good. All right, let me find these vanishing points, then we'll get into the zebra box, just for those who hadn't seen them yet. It's not that big a deal. Okay, here we go. So they're taking some of these marbling barrels. They're also $320. Good grief. I hadn't seen the price on these. That's just too much, y'all. I mean, they're fine. So what do we got here? We have like a blue gray. Blue. Teal or green, marble green. Orange, which I mean, it looks fantastic, right? And then the red. 
So it's a series of five. $320 each. They were available in Jan for several months previously. The orange and red are very nice. Yeah, I really like the orange. Is it like a turn? Like it's, I mean, all, so pilots have always been more of a wrap style, right? So one thing I'll be looking for in San Francisco is a decimo. I don't own a decimo. If I can find an interesting color, like an imported decimo, like Bungu Box is going to be there. I don't know if they have anything. The orange is gorgeous. That is a big ask though, y'all. I mean, that's stunning. Like, you can order from Japan directly, so much cheaper ordering uh, directly from Japan. Or I won't say much cheaper, less expensive. I mean, I think they're great looking. Ah, it's expensive, it's expensive. Like, I would pay that much for a vanishing point but I, I think I would I would think I would want something a little bit different. Where do you go for pins in San Francisco? Well, the San Francisco Pin Show is next week, so that I'm what I'm is what I'm doing. Otherwise, you could go to Kino Kaniya in San Francisco. You will probably find a decimo at the show. Yeah, I want to find a decimo I want to use. What do you mean by a wrap? So there's these are metal barrel pins, and the exterior is essentially. It's not like painted on or it's not like a, an acrylic that's sleeved on and glued to it, right? It's more of a printed style. I don't know how to ex ex explain it. Too much not to be a couturian, but a metal pen with a gold nib and a euchemism, but say king of pen. Like I've, yeah, like a vinyl. Like, uh, like are you saying why is this expensive and the king of pen I don't think is expensive. I actually say the king of pen is one of the worst value pens on the market. <laughs> and it's twice as much as this or more than that. Like I think the king of pen is horribly overpriced. Doesn't mean I don't love it though, right? Is that what you're, we're, we're talking about? Todd, could these designs be pilots or response to the growing world of small makers doing all sorts of crazy swirly barrels? Um, they've done this before in some different models like the 92 yeah this is not resin it's a wrap i'm almost certain like let me read the description but yeah they don't have a oh they do say these are resin bodies okay my apologies so maybe that's why they're more expensive so my apologies i, I was thinking they were more like the regular very vanishing points but here we go If it's a resin body, yeah, but it's it's still better than like the wraps, which is what like the gradients are, right? The limited edition gradient pins are, which nothing wrong with that either. That at least makes the price a little bit more understandable. My apologies. That should lead the marketing. I know you have to check me. I mean, everyone knows that I'm wrong a lot. I'd like to see one taken apart, yeah. Well, that makes it cooler. So back to Todd's question about, is this a response to the makers? I, I mean, talking to people who have made those pins that Pilot has yelled at them, like aggressively uh, gone after some of the pin makers that do their own. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> it's probably a response to that. I wonder if the resin's still just a veneer over the metal or if it replaces it structurally, right? That would be curious to find out. I mean, I would think veneer, but... Like, I always thought they were a wrap anyway. Brad, try to see this one in San Fran. Yeah, um, they're not out yet, but maybe by then someone will have them. I'll see if I can tell the difference. I think the metal's still on the interior. That would make the most sense. Pilot had them at DC. How did they feel? Any different? If you... Sure, Pilot would have them at their table. Yeah, I'll take a look at them. So we'll add this to the list of Brad needs to check this out. 
That at least makes the price a little bit more understandable. Pilot giving small makers a bit of grief, more than a bit of grief. Um, I've talked to one in particular that was told. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't they weren't asked to stop doing what they were doing they were uh strongly told <laughs> to stop doing what they're doing <laughs> and then i have uh another maker separate from this person who would not let me take pictures of their pen bets on if brad brings one home to georgia i am not interested at this price point I don't like the vanishing point enough. Like I'm sitting here with this on my desk. Right. What were they doing to a fin pilot? So you can make barrels. Like you can replace like the color parts on this barrels with your own materials. So there's that one. And there's this one. Which is why I don't need, which is why I don't need the orange swirly one. I will pay that for a vintage VP, not a new one, right? So this one's very swirly like the one on the screen, but not quite. This one's more like a surface of the sun type of swirl. Well, that's more of a, a swirly. I know, I love the, I still love the vanishing point. I just like things better now, right? It's not that I like the vanishing point less, it's I like other things more, right? In what world does Pilot think they can cease and desist on a tube? I mean, they're using their, they're changing their platform. I don't know. But yeah, so I've dealt with two different people that have, like, hypothetically, who might be making other out bar barrels. You can DM me. Your desk seems to be a bit dark today. I feel the same way, Jacob. I feel like it's a little bit off little bit darker but it's also like I don't have a very consistent color spectrum going on here I need to remove everything off of here but I have like you know black cords black screen bright pens so yeah it is it's a little bit off but like the color is okay but I agree with you so <laughs> yep so pilot did not like making replacement barrels for this so there you go so i will not be coming home with one of these uh and i always caveat that so this is where uh carol's gonna yell at me um i do differentiate from personal collection to review products right so like, I will buy a lot of things at the San Francisco pin show. I may not buy a lot of things for me personally. So it, it goes it goes that way. The ultimate kit pin, right? Went on sale. That's pricing the price of the rod and capless pins from Japan. Yeah, I mean, this is, you know, this is a uh, build-in price increases type of stuff. Blog Waldo, thank you for the four months of sub. Appreciate you. Does the Decimo and the Vanishing Point use the same nib sections? Yes. <clears throat> pilot cease and desist hinge on the pins being sold as new if i recall their issue was makers acquiring the pins and modifying them prior to first sale rather than being sent used vps for modification after the fact yes i'm sure pilot dislikes all of it but it's hard for them having a legal ground yeah <clears throat> the pin addict company might come home with one but brad won't right <laughs> i like i like how i can uh I like how I can segment this stuff and make excuses for all the things I'm going to buy. Let's open a box, chat. Let's open a box from Zebra Pen. All right, give me one second here. Let me pull up this site. Just in case I need anything from them. Okay. All right. So if you weren't here yesterday, we had Toby borking at the door because this box got dropped off. Five pound box of zebras. Z zebra head. Um, 
So they, over the years of Pen Addict, yeah, I was looked at the label. It's it's five pounds. It's got the weight on here. Um, over the years of the Pen Addict Zebra in the U.S., um, this is Zebra's U.S. division, um, which does not carry all the things. We got to show the weird zebra commercials. They're hilariously bad. They are like legit bad. Okay, we'll we'll do a couple of those. We can't do all of them because I can't I can't handle that many, but we'll do them here in a minute. Um, so over the years they've sent, every three years or so they'll reach out like a new person will come in. It's like, hey, can we send you some pens? I'm like, yes, you can. It's like you've done it before, but eh. so new new person at Zebra, new box of pens. Um, I've been waiting for this for a couple months and they were waiting for a few things to get in stock before they sent to me. So let's, uh, open this up, see what we have here. And then we, uh, we'll pop in a zebra commercial. Actually, we'll pop it like Toasty says, we'll do the commercial first just to get y'all prepped. And uh, we're going to do this blind. Ah, this thing is packed. Which Spyderco is that? It's an old Delica with a carbon fiber handle. It's probably close to a decade old. Not my favorite knife. That's why it lives here. I don't have many pocket knives, but I much prefer the Ultim. And then I have um, I have a Delrin uh, Benchmade. What's up, Greg? Well, the party's just getting ready to start. Let's find, let's find these, let's find their commercials real quick. Because they are amazing. YouTube. All right, we're going to watch a couple of these. All right, this is going to get y'all going. Oh, hey, alerts. All right. We'll pick out a couple of these. Zebra pin comparing packages. That's already a questionable title. All right, there's an ad. Okay, so here's my essay, and I'm gonna click through Grammarly. This is a mental challenge. What's that? Finding your zen. I'm on a higher level of authority for all office pen acquisitions. So, are we comparing like pen packages? You start by establishing a hierarchy of zebra zebra pens by economy and quantity. Then you separate by color, algorithm, and self-expressive capacity. Finally, by style and tactile impact. Personally, I'm a fan of the 12 pack or the six pack. I'm a, I am the guy in the tie though. Zebra pin. <laughs> I am the guy in the tie, like measuring the stuff. <laughs> oh, we gotta go to the playlist. The, yeah, we need the, it's the office video playlist. So there's, look. We're not going to watch all these. There's 22 of them. Oh, Pen Thief. Pen Thief long version. I'm sure you have some idea why I called you in here today, Leo. Not really. Need advice? A wingman? Is it about the pens? Yes, the zebra pens. Open the coat, Leo. Well, the Sarasa grand that Sally had, it writes so smooth, I just had to have it. And then Tim steal F701, a classic with style and durability. Awesome zebra pens. Great pins, but not yours. Am I in trouble here? We understand. That's why we use them in the office. These zebra pins are hard to resist. And the steel line's like an accessory. You gotta look good to reading. <sighs> They'll both be productive. Jeez, so bossy. You got to keep all the pins. Pin, pin. pin thief. That's not cool, man. <laughs> Who approved this? There's 22 of them. Fighting my path to self-expression. You're what? My zen. You can find it too. Try it. Leo, focus. Now sign these contracts using the Zebra Steel F701. Amazing. Sally, elevate your style using the Zebra Sarasa Grand. Thanks, Todd. I found my zen. The ink dries so fast. Feel the self-expression power. Yes. It's so smooth with my Zebra Z-Grip flight pen. I can unleash my creativity with my Zebra Mild Liner Highlighter. How can I find success? Not success. Zen. Find your Zen. Oh. Find Zen. In your this is out of the straight out of the pilot zen. playbook. All right, one more. Let's I got go. It. I think I found my Zen. 
The path to self-expression can be exhilarating for everyone. I at least I like the zebra. I'm sure you have. Okay. All right. Do one more. Oh, fighting my path to self-expression. No. All right. Book signing workout. This sounds like it could be terrible. Let's see. Hi, Todd. What are you up to? I'm centering my chi for my official book signing. I'm impressed. And I'm making my moment permanent with the Zebra Steel PM701 permanent marker. It is my ultimate autograph slayer. With a marathon of cap-off time, it has the endurance to sign for every adoring fan. Signed for you. Ooh. How to, how write, to write good. good. <laughs> a permanent memory. It is well. Find Zen in your path. Hey. Zebra pen. They have leaned into it, right? You got to respect that. They have gone in on this. It's great. Feel attacked that this guy's named Todd. I think we're all Todd's here. <laughs> we're all Zebra Todd. Todd. <laughs> I guaranteed, like, they, they shot all these in one day, right? Like, all the actors, all the office, all in the, like, they wrote, like, 500 di different little sketches about all these pin nerds. Yeah, who signs the book jacket? What was up with that? Todd. Come on, Todd. They're pretty, I mean, they're good in a silly kind of way. <sighs> Todd, come on, Todd. All right. I'm betting the Z-Mulgen versions were way more awkward, right? <laughs> so here's the entire playlist, if you are so inclined. <laughs> so thank you, Zebra, for making this fun. All right. I'm gonna dig into this box. I don't know what's in it. So here, I'll show y'all what I see. So it might be a lot of the same thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're just gonna go with this. Shirt. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're styling. We're styling, we got the orange. What's in the box, Brad? Holy cow. Ooh, this is, okay, is this new? All right, we're just gonna have to deal with some lighting situations here. <clears throat> Move this stuff out of the way. Maybe we can get some better, better look. Mildliner brush markers. Have they done these before? Have we seen these before, chat? So the Mildliner is one of their most successful products ever, and deservedly so. Um, but this has a brush tip and a bullet tip, so they're not the reg regular chisel marker. Yes, but they didn't have a big pack. Gotcha. Oh, I don't want to open this. I mean, I do, but I don't. Let me see if there's some other ones I can easily open. Um, this one's taped shut, but I want to look at the tips on these. Um, yeah, that's a lot of colors. And I like that they did like a little brush tip on the clip, a little brush tip shape, so it shows you it's different from their mild liners. So yeah, it's got the, the two-sided, the brush tip, and the bullet tip. So we'll we'll go through all of this and kind of see where we're at. Sorry, the light is getting this. Um, 10 count creative marker. So this is your traditional mild liner, two-sided, with the chisel tip and then the marker tip. Are all mild liners water resistant? Yep, okay. So also water resistant. These are look like some great colors. I hope they gave you the new color sets and the US only chalk red. Well, let's see. Oh yeah, I'm gonna open some. I wanna see what all of these are first. We there's we got a box full of stuff. Those look unmild. Well, the exterior is mild, but maybe on the interior. Oh, find your zen. Does the zebra have a name? Someone uh someone work on that for me. Does the zebra have a name? So how do we know what the new colors are? Piglin's creative. Same pack here, same pack here. Y'all know what that means. Give away. Probably Todd as well. So this is an eight count pastel size. Same style as this one. Is it really Oscar? So that's that. So I think we got two packs of these. Brad, I had an idea watching you show the big box of pins. You need a quality photo of you with all the pins. Yeah, 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 for sure. All right, same set there. That's all those guys. 
Ooh, okay. The natural set, neutral set. So same type of mild liners, but in the grays. Is the zebra really named Zen? Still not the new one, no new ones yet? Okay. All right, we're gonna keep going. That olive looks cool. Uh, the, oh, these have tried, these are excellent. These are something I use. So the Fuda, Funwari Fude, um, they're small brush pens. I have some of these in the like bright blue and pink, different colors than these. These are really, really good. And that red is USA only. Which red? This one? Yeah, this muted color ones. That seems, y'all seem to like that one. There's not a fountain pen in the box. Zebra missed a beat. Well, you never know. You never know. Oh, I like these. The click arts. So these are the retractable uh, marker sets. <laughs> So I really like these for the desk. I've got some of these laying around somewhere. They've done a really good job with the mild liner and just leaning into things like related to it with the clickable markers. Is this the same set? Man, they really hooked me up. Is that the same set? These look different. Yeah, these are two different color sets. Wow. That's cool. Zen says, follow me on the path to enlightened writing. Okay, cool. I was checking the lighting because it's actually not getting better. I thought it might in a minute. Sorry. Are mild liners their signature pin to you, Brad? I think now. It didn't used to be. It used to be the Sarasa. Oh, wow. There's a th third color set. Wow. Look at that. So there's 36 of these colors so far. There's an elementary school teacher right now drooling over this. Oh, I should send some with our little neighbor across the street. Wow, okay, so there's 36 of those so far. Yeah, this is the set that I have. These are the ones that I have. Uh, the blue and the pink. These I cannot recommend enough. I don't think I've ever reviewed them. But I really enjoy these. What is this? Ooh, blends, okay. So this is good. So these are the gels, the blend gels, which I don't have. So yesterday, that bright pink is the bomb. Yeah, when I ordered them, I ordered the pink and the blue. So what I ordered was the ballpoint and jet pens didn't have the gel. So this is the gel blend. I will be reviewing these very soon. Um, rapid dry gel ink, meet Zen, okay. Zen the Zebra. That's actually a pretty good name. Noise-free design. This is what I was explaining to y'all yesterday. Eliminates gaps in each part inside the pen. Low center of gravity, direct touch tip. Dun, 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 dun. I wanna see if they say something about the ink. Okay, so the difference with the ballpoint, maybe we'll see some of this. The ballpoint uses the fancy Z emulsion. I wonder if this is just their normal Sarasa ink, which is great. So the reason why I bought these was this brush pen is probably one of my favorite just writing pens. The blend gel is very meh, so maybe it's more, maybe I'll like the ballpoints more. The barrel is awesome, refill so so. So, this is the classic super fine brush pen that I've had for probably a decade or more. And they took this shape 
and built this set around them and with the same kind of tip. Like if you're an artist or even someone who just likes to play with markers, like you need one of these. Are all those colors of clicks gonna come to jet pens? I don't know. I would wager. All right, so here's the gel with the white barrel, black 0.7 millimeter. You want, please? What do you want? Like all of it? All right, here's another set of the gels. You've had it for a decade. Uh, it hasn't dried out, but like I'm not using it like crazy, crazy all the time. Right, it, it lives in, I have this pen case up here. It lives in like my little um, uh, visual journal, like for writing. So I haven't, like I haven't worn it out and it's still fine. So another pack of the blends. What is this? Metallic brush pens. That's cool, I have not seen these before. Writes on dark paper. A little creeped out by how Zen is sitting there. That looks cool. Cool colors, I like their darker, more muted colors there. Uh-oh, what is this? We have loose click arts. Are these colors even part of these other colors? We have so much zebras here. I am. I gotta find my Zen, hold, hold on. Let's see, are these colors in here? They look like they're in here. Yeah, so this is just a random sampling, random sampling of markers. Looks like they sent you the entire catalog of markers, right? Snacks, thanks for the follow, appreciate you. All right, that's it. All the things. Literally all the markers. Okay, let's look, uh, what are we gonna look at here? Oh look, they have this little cap on the tips of these. Have y'all seen these before? Corinne, thank you for 36 months of subbing. Yeah, we got Todd's desk. We, we raided Todd's desk. Um, look at this. So they have That's the little seal, the little tip dry off thing. Like, I don't guess you, you wouldn't keep these if you're using these pens, but that's how they ship them and store them. That's pretty interesting. So these retractable markers are pretty cool. All right, what do y'all wanna see? What should we open up? Let's do, a, let's first do a giveaway. Let me decide how I'm gonna do a giveaway here. Let me think about this real quick and then we'll do a giveaway. Um, this is a set. We're not giving away that. We're going to give away some of the duplicate stuff or some of this. So this is a giveaway. This. I'm going to hold the blends for a review. Um, the brush pens we can give away. That we can give away. All right. So the big, the big, huge sets. I'm gonna keep these. So 25 mild liner brush pens, and then the 36 click art markers, and the blends I'm gonna take out. Um, so we'll do a couple giveaways today, and I'll let y'all pick from kind of the rest of this stuff. So you can pick one pack of you know the brush pens, the mild liners and neutrals, the different mild liner bright sets, and the metallic set, okay? So let's do one giveaway right now, and then we'll play around, and then we'll look at some more stuff. And then we'll do another giveaway, okay? Remember you need to start stashing things for St. Jude? Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe that big set. Yeah, does the Zebra even make paper? Have you seen the Sarasa marble gel pens? Yes, I like them. They're pretty cool. All right, let's do a giveaway. Hang on. 
Hey, Todd, what are you doing? Typing an email of ultimate importance that will resonate my state of emotional customer gratitude. Typing emotional gratitude? How do you do that? I use my fingers. I have a better solution. The Sarasa Clip is the perfect emotionally expressive tool to help you write your thank you notes. My customers will see me as a creative and self-expressive human being who is totally in touch with his own personal reality. Yes, human. That's what they'll say, Todd. Von Zen. Da, Todd. <laughs> Todd. Human, Todd. Todd is one of us. So zebra sarasa clip in the marketing, does that mean it's coming to the US? That is the most hostile cubicle layout I've ever seen. That looked awful, didn't it? <laughs> so I'm gonna make y'all watch videos every time we, we switch here. Actually, while y'all are raffling uh, here in a second, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna watch more. Todd, we're gonna see what Todd's up to. Uh, okay, so we'll call this zebra pick and you'll get to pick one. So we're gonna do two giveaways today. We're gonna do one right now and you'll get a choice of items you can pick out. You must be present to win when I start this and then we'll play around and then we'll do another one here in a minute. Um, all right. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Exclamation point raffle and you'll get to pick out some zebra stuff. Thank you, Zebra, for sending me this. Just in case you're not clear, Zebra USA sent me all this stuff for free. That's my disclosure. I'm not being paid to do this uh, by Zebra. I'm not, I'm not in the pocket of, of Big Todd. <laughs> Todd did not cut me a check to uh, cover this stuff today. Uh, Zen. Zen might have sent me something though, a little special. I need a Zen plush. Why is there not a Zen plush in the box? Because he could live like right there. And I could have Zen sitting back there and we could talk to Zen all the time. That feels like a missed opportunity, Zebra. If you are actually watching this, if Todd is watching, Zebra, Zen, right here. Spot open for him. I'm just saying. Just saying there's a spot open for you. All right. Let's see what else Todd is up to. Mild liner jam. This has... This has a high probability of being awful. Let's go. Build your brand online Ads. with a beautiful logo. Just go to Wix logo. Tote my my liner in my hand. Journal is my passion. Understand? Cause this highlighter, I must say, is the highlight of my day. With a rainbow of colors, I can play. So many colors, quite an array. There's brush tip and chisel. Come on, team. Hand lettering, coloring, one can dream. Ow. Find Zen in your pen. Zebra pen. Let's go. Hey, Todd. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, Todd. <laughs> Sorry. I need to open these in new windows so I can kill them quicker. <laughs> hey, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine i mean just look at all of these ads they literally shot all this in one day those actors had to be dead by the time they were doing this just like mentally drained <laughs> mentally drained because it's all the same cubicles off this is like like a stage like office cubicle thing right oh my gosh <laughs> so the winner so the winner of this giveaway, if you choose mild liners, you have to send me a video of doing the mild liner rap. <laughs> so choose choose wisely, chat. <laughs> choose wisely. I was not disappointed by that whatsoever. Oh gosh. That was amazing. Okay, are we done? Did this did this end? <sighs> oh my gosh! I'm <laughs> doing all this for three twenty. I better better con better get a better contract out of this, right? Especially Todd. <laughs> We're gonna need a Todd emote. <laughs> Come on, Todd. Sorry, Todd. <laughs> Sorry, the Todd that I know that's watching us. Um. All right, let's pick a winner. Miss Cookie, let's go. 
<laughs> Miss Cookie. Oh my gosh. All right, Miss Cookie. You get to pick. All right. Oh, whoops. Let me show you what your choices are. <laughs> this is Todd's big break. All right, so we have, let me sort these out. So you have the brush pens, you have a, a three color set, and then you have a six color set. Then we have mild liners in bright colors, mild hot liners in neutral colors, metallic markers, and then mild liners, uh, like a 10, 10 pack mild liner um, with just random bright colors. It looks like bright colors. So yes, you're gonna need to practice your wrapping, please. I'm gonna need a, uh, I'm gonna need some uh, some videos of the, of the mild liner wrap. All right, all right. So what are you thinking? Are you able to pick out from one of these? Do you need me to show you anything again? I know the lighting's poor. Uh, Ten pack brights, please. So we're gonna go with this one. Okay. So this is gonna be Miss Cookies. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the second set from the giveaways. And I'll include each of y'all like three of these random, like the markers in there as well. All right, so the second set of mild liners I'm gonna take out for uh, me to do something with later. All right, oh no, I was wrong. That whole one we've been using the other day with the butts was Rufus. I thought it was Toby. Toby's this one. We still got a few butts left. All right, Miss Cookie, email me. I'm gonna ship today, so if you can email me like in the next hour, um, I will ship this out to you today. Thank you. Thank you for putting up with me. <laughs> uh, thank you for putting up with Todd. All right, so Miss Cookie. Man, Sarasa retractable. Let's see. Do they have the clip? Does it have a zebra in it? See, these aren't the Sarasa clips, but it does have a zebra. Oh, look, Cup. zebra. I'm gonna. I'm emailing whoever whoever sent this to me. I'm I'm gonna ask for a zen. I mean, come on. How is this not in the box, zebra? Right there. And he can hold a bunch of pens too, I bet. He's like hugging, like he's like, I got this this 32 pack of pens here. All right, Miss Cookies, mild liners. I'm just gonna take this batch of pens out to the shipping department and I'll slot in a few um, in, your, in your giveaway as well. All right, what do I want to test out here, Chad? Let me look. Uh, let me set these aside. Um, let's see here. He says he's a pen holder. Yes. It's only $13 for an 18 pack of pens. It's not bad. Oh, let's find another video. Sell me. All right, let's watch a video. Sell me this pen. Can you imagine how great it would have been if there had been a zebra in the box? Inventory is back. <gasps> New and used vehicle inventory is changing daily, so check in with us to find out. Another sale for Leo. Okay, Leo, sell me this pin. Fair enough. The Zebra Steel G750 pen, a stylish writing instrument like no other, with ink that flows like a river of ideas from your mind. Intrigued. I can even help you find Zen in your pen. Me? Imagine the feeling of signing a contract with this pen. Imagine, indeed. I'm sold. As am I. Find Zen in your pen. That one needed more Todd. That one, that, that ad needed more Todd. There's not enough Todd in that one. <laughs> not enough Todd. Meh. Yeah. All right. So, um, email sent. Thank you, Miss Cookie. More Todd is the more is the more cowbell. I know we're gonna lose Todd here, right, like our Todd, our lovely, wonderful Todd, who is awesome in this chat. I apologize <laughs> greatly. <laughs> I apologize greatly. 
All right. All right, I'm gonna, oof. What, am I gonna, what do I wanna do here? Um, do we wanna test the blend gel? How does Zen hold pens? It's an existential question. Hmm. Metallics. I don't have any black paper. I mean, I know I can test them on the white. In his mouth, true, true, true. Maybe in his tail. Maybe his tail's strong. Something like that. I don't know. It's a good. That's a great question. I'm trying to decide what I'm doing here, chat. Too many options. Do you want to see the metallics? See what they look like. Let's look at these metallics. Don't have, oh, do I have any black paper? Let me check for black paper real quick. We got it. Boom, so we can do this too. It's a little gray in here, a little, a little dull on the lighting. I'm asking my photography professional here. I don't know why. She said, at least she didn't say. All right. You know what we should do? We should do the metallic set with this black paper giveaway. We know it's not zebra. These are really nice barrels. Zebra brush pen, something in French. Do they have the color listed on here? Wow, that's hard to see. Glatissant journals, thank you for the follow. Sorry, I couldn't totally make that out. Um, okay, it just says purple on there. So these just, they must just call these basic colors. Purple, green, pink, blue. I expected more. Bronze. I bet silver and gold. Shocker. Shocker. All right. These barrels are great. So, big marker style. Ooh. Does not hit as hard on the white. Ah, that looks good. Man, that is nice. Woo! on this one. <laughs> These are coming in hot, chat. These look great. Definitely pops on the black paper. I 
quite like them. I'm shocked at the difference on the, the papers. I don't know why I'm shocked, but I, I just am. Also, the winner of these also gets your handwriting. Sure. <laughs> I'm anxious to get this blue. We'll save the blue to last. You knew silver was going to be hot. Oh, you can't even see these. The difference in red fascinates me. It's almost like a purplish red. And it's just like, it's almost like this really, uh, it's almost like a sheen, right? On the marker, on the black paper. And then it's just like completely flat. I mean, you can see like a little bit of the sheen on there, on the white. But like, it's tailor-made for this black paper, right? I mean, just look at the silver. So the brighter colors obviously do a little bit better on the white page. But like it's very, very sheeny over here. The blue and flatter on the white. But still pretty neat. On the white paper, blue is the best. And over here, like, I mean, the silver is spectacular, right? And the green's probably the worst on the black paper, but pretty good on the white paper. These are super nice. Can you show the tip, please? Yes. We'll use that for the gram later. So what can we see? Does that help? Does that get you what you want? Reasonably soft tip, you know, soft and pliable, right? These are pretty broad lines for, like I didn't, I wasn't pressing very hard. I was just kind of letting the pen do the work. Um, I mean, that's great. There are only seven colors. I mean, I would never put anything past Zebra <laughs> and Todd make more than seven colors but that's all I got there was not a multitude of additional colors all right let's pop these back in let's try something else I'm gonna try I'm gonna try some of the mild liners I'm certainly not putting these back in correctly Nettis, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Hope you enjoy Zen. <laughs> mm, okay, so they don't go on this card. Just like this. Hey, we did it, Chad. We did it, Chad. How do we enter the giveaway? Um, I'll launch one here in a minute and you'll see. 
So we've already given away one set of pins this morning. Um, we're going to do another set here in a minute. All right. So that's that. What do we have here? Um, sorry, I'm banging those around. I did not mean to do that. So these are the traditional mild liners. I'm trying to see how to get into this thing without ripping it apart. Is there a sticker? Yeah, there's a sticker. Yeah, so just hang tight, snacks, and we'll do it in a in just a minute. But like, since you're here, snacks, check this out. So I've got my essay written. So now I'm gonna show you how I use Grammarly to edit. Okay, so here's my essay. And I we need a command to launch this video. Tone my mod liner in my hand. Journal is my passion, understand. Cause this highlighter, I must say, is the highlight of my day. With a rainbow of colors, I can play. So many colors, quite an array. array. There's brush tip and chisel. Come on team, hand lettering, coloring, lucky dream. Ow. Find Zen in your pen. Zebra pen. Mm. Hey top. Man, legit. Legit. So what's gonna happen is like one of these actors is gonna get on like Severance season two. And then we're going to have to find them in the zebra mild liner wrap. <laughs> then we go, remember when they were this commercial actor at the zebra office? Yeah. Dancing zebra holding a mild liner, right? All right. Oops. Let me switch the camera here. I know. I like how that drops into the hey, Ton <laughs> every time. So... The traditional Zebra Mild Liner is one of the best highlighters on the market. Big Zebra is not paying me to say this. I'm not on Todd's payroll. I'm not on Zen's payroll. But it's just traditionally, they have made a highlighter that works really well with like the bullet journals that everyone's using because they've gone to some more marker-ish colors while retaining like a really... They, like they stay light they're mild milds in the name um and they're just kind of blew up over this whole last five years 10 years of journaling online right this is kind of like the marker of choice because they're really good um it helps that they look good right but just from a like a highlighting perspective, this is much darker than a lot of them. Like when they started out, they really were these milder colors. Not necessarily these, but like some of the grays, some of the pastels, things like that. So, and they're just they're just really high quality markers. And then Zebra completely leaned into what these are. So, they're just some of the best quality markers on the market. So yeah. Um, really cool, cool colors, cool, cool writing performance. Yeah, pretty great. Now, let me, let me pose a question to Zebra. Do they fade over time? I have no idea. I doubt they're archival. So I'd imagine they would fade over time. If they don't market them as archival. Yeah, they don't market them as archival. So I would ass my assumption would be yes, they fade over time. So let's take the blend gel and highlight over it. Let's see. Should have jet pins compare their website traffic with your stream times. It would be pretty small. Like, <laughs> but yeah, I get that. All right. So 
So if these really are fast drying, I should be able to highlight over them pretty well. Feels pretty good. I, I like how the I like how it feels. All right, so let's do let's do this kind of pink color. See what it's like. A little bit on there. Yeah, like you're not gonna want like these are not gonna have permanence on there, right? I'm certain. So little smudge. Sorry, there we go. But if I let it dry a little bit more, maybe. Um, I was late to the stream, but it's very interesting. The marketing objective they have trying to reach the business office audience versus the creative type. I think they have such a huge lead in the creative space with this, with these products that they want to try to increase this space, which honestly is not as sexy, right? Right? No one's Instagramming this. They're covered here, right? They're in a really good position right now with this stuff, right? This is like market leader type of stuff. So like, yeah, but like, I think it's sexy, right? But like, this is harder to market to Instagram, right? <clears throat> But like Power Belly saying, you need the business office to not order from Corporate Express, right? Generics, right? You need business offices to order dozens and dozens and dozens of these. And you need hundreds and thousands of offices to do it. That's what this has to do, right? So yeah, like I could see that and see that happening. Uh, let's try this again. Let's try with this purple. They get lots of free publicity from bullet journals online. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, so they don't have to lean into this. They're the they're the pilot G2 of the marker pen. Like on as far as like creatives go, right? They're like everyone in that space knows what the mild liner is and who makes them. The blend, they at least have a chance to. Do like I saw that one commercial I thought was interesting. They sell them in packs of 12, like in the dozen packs. Like, do you remember as a kid, you could go into the office supply store and buy boxes of 12 of everything, just like generic, like bulk boxes. Like they wanted you to stock these up for your office. And that kind of like fell off over the years because offices got cut, their budgets got cut for stationary supplies. They're all using Corporate Express, opening up a catalog and buying box of 144 generic ballpoint pens, you know box of 20 amp pad, you know, legal pads, that kind of stuff, right? So like that office supply stuff has dropped. Now it's dropped even more with people working from home, right? So they're leaning into this office stuff, but it's really it's like, hey, this is like the cool work pin, right? And I would lean into that. Um, <laughs> Todd's an issue, <laughs> Todd's an issue, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. So uh, we should we should check. This. Let's 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 see what let's see if we can find something else. Top Todd's up to. Oh, uh, let's check out let's check out how bad cubes can be. These prices and the coupons are useless. Right, commercial. Me of the time I settled for that photographer. I have. Who has my zebra pen? Not me. I have my own writing accessory, the Zebra Steel F seven zero one Stylin. Not me. Been right here with my zebra zebra flights. Not me. I've got my own zebra pen. The F301 Blue Steel. Anyone see my zebra pen? Where's Todd? I have my zebra Sarasa Grand Gel. There's Todd. And you're not getting it, Leo. Oof, Leo. My personal choice is the Zebra Steel X701. It is an extreme pen for both hot and cold office conditions and the ultimate writing slayer for all power meters. We stand Todd. We stand Todd. Now, Todd. Ooh. I, I talked over Todd. Let's do it, Todd again. Find Zen in your pen. Zebra pen. Todd was bringing it. A fit mind, my 701. It is an extreme pen for both hot and cold office conditions and the ultimate writing slayer for all power meetings. Not now, Todd. <laughs> Not now, Todd. Find Zen. Leave Todd pen. alone. Zebra pen. A 
fit mind must be fully hydrated to perform at optimal levels. It's going to be a long journey. Todd's a hydro homie. We like Todd. Hey there, Sally. Hi, Todd. Another awesome weekend. You see the scar I got? I was cycling bootleg mountain. I totally took this nasty spill and my back tire explode. Uh-huh. A stationary bike is pretty killer, though, so definitely worth the money. Uh-huh. Nice pen, Todd. Is that a Zebra Sarasa Grand? This is my writing instrument of choice when I'm seeking the vitality of colors to organize and create. Can I borrow it? Sure. Oof. Yeah! Oh, no, it's a whole cup of them. That was nice. The Sarasa gels are the fastest drying rapid ink on the market according to independent lab tests. It comes in trendy colors. Where does you glasses got it. go? Nice chat. Bonzen. He gave her a real pen to use. I'm not giving this back. I don't blame you one bit. <laughs> Todd. Todd. What are you doing? Fighting my path to self expression Alright, we saw that one. <laughs> Todd rules. <laughs> this is the best stream ever. <laughs> <sighs> Riding Slayer. Scroll up. What do you want? What do you want? The uh, the micro microbial, antimicrobial. Is that what we want? Todd Todd gave up the legit pen. That's like a twenty dollar pen. He had a cup full of them. Those Sarasa Grands are awesome. But they're like twenty bucks. Todd just has a whole cup full of. Todd needs like. He needs to downgrade. He needs to downgrade his loner pens. All right, antimicrobial. Here we go. Look at that stash. Magnificent. What's magnificent, Todd? The Zebra Sarasa Dry X1 and X20 Plus gel pens with rapid dry ink are the perfect instruments to channel my thoughts from mind to paper. Why is that, Todd? Number one, uncommonly smooth. Number two, bold ink colors. Number three, they feature an antimicrobial additive in the plunger, barrel, grip, cone, and clip. That is magnificent, Todd. Now you can borrow my pen without me borrowing your germs. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Nice, Todd. Von Zen. So I have a question, Gel Chad. Pens with rapid dry ink are, are these zebra employees? Because they have zebra wallpaper, but they're acting like they don't know about all these pens. Right? Yes. Do they work at Zebra? Because they have Zebra desktop wallpaper, both Todd and his coworker. What's her name? I don't know her name. It's like, why don't you know about this pen if you work at Zebra, yet you have Zebra wallpaper on your desktop? Hmm. Question. Question. Although the Z Zen is there. Zen hangs out by the water cooler. Yeah. They go outside and hang out by the water cooler, and Zen is there. It's their first week. Could be. We need yes, we need <laughs> we need a lore breakdown of this office. Is this a zebra office? Are these new employees? Like Todd is like the guru, he's like the mastermind. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Yes, yeah, someone get on that zebra fanfic, please. <laughs> Todd <laughs> between Toasty and Inkwell Monster, we need some Todd, uh we need some Todd writing. <laughs> You have been out of corporate America, Marl. No one knows what their company does anymore, right? Oh my gosh. What are we doing today, chat? All right, let's do our next giveaway. Let's do another zebra giveaway. All right. Uh, as I, I'm going to test this one more blend. I should cosplay as Todd and San Fran. I don't have a suit that fits. <laughs> I, could, I could shave for the mustache, though. We could do a mustache. Zen is the pusher. First pin is free. Zen's probably got something hidden in those stripes. I'm not even going to lie. All right. Let me re-blend this. Natalia, thank you for the follow. I hope you're enjoying the adventures of Todd and Zen the zebra today. <laughs> if I would have known, that would have been the great, that would have been the stream title. Todd. All right, I'm gonna let that dry for like a five count. Yeah, you need to stay in character as Todd, though. Yeah, I could do it. I just don't like. I I don't have a suit. Oh, that's a dark color. That is not a highlighter. Boy, that really. 
Check this out. Check this out. It almost rejected the ink. Look how good that is. Like I let it, I let it uh, dry for like a five count. Look at that. That's out of hand. It didn't even pick up any of the ink. Huh. I did not expect that. It almost rejected the ink, like around the lettering. You can kind of see it in the D. If you look in the corners of the D, you can see it's lighter. All right, let's do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway, chat. Then we'll probably wrap it up. I got a bunch of work today. We'll watch some more videos though. We have not um, plunged the depths of these videos. And I'll still let y'all pick. I'll let y'all pick from uh, the different stuff we got here. All right, let's do a giveaway. Whoops, not that button. All right, we're gonna clear that off. We're gonna do zebra pick two. All right, to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is type exclamation point raffle in the chat. Anyone can win. You don't have to be a follower, member, subscriber. You don't have to live in the United States. Thank you, Zebra, for sending me all of this stuff. Thank you for creating these commercials, which have really uplifted my spirits today. Um, the winner of this giveaway will get to pick their favorite from an assortment of products that Zebra has sent me. All right. So when you're done, you'll get to pick which of these packs that you want. I'll show them to you again. Um, let's see. Thanks be to Todd. <laughs> Corinne. <laughs> Closet pens. Uh oh. All right. Let's let's hit a couple more videos while y'all uh, while y'all finish this up. Closet pens. I'm concerned. As experts in online education, Purdue University you hate ads? Global gives you all the flexibility you need to I got your flexibility. Hey Sally, can you help me out here? Sally. What do you need? Looking for zebra sarasa gel pens. You know a sarasa with rapid dry ink? Sure thing. Oh my, maybe this is a bad time. No worries boss, I can find it right here. If I can't find it here, zebra pens are available at select retailers, e-tailers, and office supply wholesalers. They're everywhere. Thanks for your help. Find Zen in your pen. Zebra pen. Sally, uh, you the so, new executive Sally in training? Issues. Not quite. Ten trips to HR this week. Ten trips? Impressive. Apparently a record. I see you're using all the onboarding Steel 3 series. Yeah. F301 ballpoint, G301 onboarding. gel, 301 mechanical pencils, all right here in the official Zen office training manual. Sleek, sophisticated, and durable. I see you're a fan of the 3 series as well. <laughs> Good talk. Alright. Find Zen in your... Apparently a record. I see you're using all the onboarding Steel 3 series. Yeah. F301 ballpoint, G301 Think gel, we got them, F301 chat. mechanical pencils, all right here in the official... Zebra pen training manual. It's the zebra office. And this is their first week, but right there at the bottom, zebra pen. So this is the zebra office. There we go, chat. We're in we would have watched all the videos in order <laughs> we would understand zebra cannon a little bit better all right <laughs> this guy seems questionable if he's been to hr 10 times in the first week so <laughs> settle down guy new guy settle down be more like todd be more like todd <laughs> all right one more video then we'll pick the winner yeah right that's that's aggressive is he a pen thief uh new guy to thine own pen, this could be terrible. I have faith. And any advice on the office guidelines? Lights, please. I give thou the steel G450. Neither pen lender nor pen borrower be, for loan off loses both itself and friend, and borrowing doles the edge of husbandry. Whatever that means. To thine own pen be true. I don't get it. Keep your friends close and your zebra pens closer. 
fun. <laughs> All right, that guy. That guy thought he was going to be on Broadway when he was growing up. He is now doing zebra pen commercials. <laughs> that guy was like way, way, way off Broadway. Like, <laughs> in his head, he was a Broadway actor. At one time, he was on the path. <laughs> and now he's in a he's in a movie set commercial cubicle farm. Poor new guy. You ship Todd and new guy? I think we could make that happen. I think we could make that happen. Poor new guy doesn't even have a name. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why did Todd shave? That has to be a fake mustache, right? Oh, that has to be a fake. Um, big mass recommended, not required. All right, let's pick a winner. Beak Keeper. Beekeeper. Beekeeper. That's a new winner. That's a new name. It only took me two times to read it. Beekeeper. That's a cool name. Hi. All right, Beekeeper. First time winner. All right, let's show me. I'm going to show you what you what you get to do here. So you get to pick the metallic brush pen set or the mild liner neutral set or the mild liner soft mild color set or the brush pen set with two of three different colors or the brush pen set of six individual colors or the mild liner soft mild color set. Yeah, so one of these. That's the same set. So which pack would you choose Beekeeper? I like your name. So if you have any questions on them, let me know. Metallic pens come with testing sheets, yes. I'm now using my Zebra Sarasser marker pen. Second to last, that is less than helpful. <laughs> Second to last was either this one or this one. <laughs> so we have brush pen set or mild liner set. <laughs> so these were the last two I did, I believe. So you can say six count, eight count, or you can say brush or marker, whatever you want to do. Brush pen. Nice. I like these. These are exceedingly useful. Yeah, no problem. You're on mobile. You have to email me when you get off mobile or on your mobile. Hello at pinatic.com. I need your shipping address, okay? So do that for me, please. All right, let's get this back. Congratulations, beekeeper. Oh, we already wrote E's instead of threes. You're just gonna have to live. We'll just have to live with it. This is uh, whiskey, whiskey. We got a new borker. We're out of corgi butts, we're in the corgi. Corgi frontal units now. All right, that is that. Let's see, what other commercials? Do we have any more commercials? I think we pretty much, uh, pretty much did all these. Oh, we haven't seen Trent. Trent can't find his pen. Let's let's check out Trent not being able to find his pen, and then we're gonna bail. Trent, I cannot find my pen. The Ridge Wallet for real is my type of wallet. For real. It's, it's sleek. I used to carry this in my pocket. It was I cannot find my pen. He, he cannot, cannot find his pen. pen. I think I lost my Z Grip pen. We think he lost his Z Grip pen. I know I'll find it soon. We, we know you'll find it soon. I use Zebra every day. We use Zebra every day. We, we must help you look. I just found my Z Grip pen. He, he just found his secret pen. Did I just find my zen? Find zen in your pen. All right. Zebra pen. So what we're missing, chat, what we're missing is someone wrote these commercials. Not only are these actors doing a fine job, someone wrote these scripts.
Someone wrote the scripts for all of this and got paid. <laughs> Someone went in front of the actors with a script that said, here. <laughs> and they, on purpose, <laughs> oh, rewizzles. You will need to rewatch this stream. <laughs> so I'm questioning why the boss of the office, I don't know her name. So this is Sally back here. This is the boss. What is she doing hiding in a cubicle with the staff? I understand the staff in here goofing off. Why is the boss in there? I mean, I guess I would appreciate that if that was my boss too. But based on the office supply cabinet video, she's the boss. She was hiding under the desk. Gray Web, seven months of seven. Oh, man. She's goofing off too? I mean, I guess you can appreciate that, right? Uh, she's the cool manager? I mean, Sally was throwing pins at her. And the new guy, the new guy here hasn't been fired yet. And he's been to HR 10 times in the first week. <laughs> and he needs to let his hair down. Um, Todd is representing though. Todd's looking good. All right, I feel like there's gotta be at least another video for us to watch. I think we did most of these. I think we've, I think we've covered them all. Do we miss any? Creative match, did we do that one? Creative match. Sarasa clip with fast drying water-based gel ink and smear proof technology. Ha! Mild liner, two styles, brush and chisel tip, so there. Sarasa clip with 37 vibrant colors, perfect for journaling, note taking, and studying. Ha! Mild liner, double ended, bullet journaling favorite, take that. Sarasa clip with alligator Fight. clip for all Fight. securing. Are you getting me? Oh. Mild liner, soft pastel colors, no blade throw, and I found my den. Seriously? A creative self expression tournament again? I'm calling HR. Oh. Find Zen in your pen. She snapped her teeth at her. Bullet journaling favorite, take that. Sarasa clip with alligator clip for ultimate securing. Are you getting me? Alligator Mild clip. Liner, soft pastel colors, no blade throw, and I found my zen. Seriously? Ooh. A creative self expression tournament again? I'm calling HR. Oh. HR is busy in this office. Find zen in your pen. Zebra pen. Where's. We need an HR video at this point. Alligator clip. <laughs> Sarasa clips. Okay. In all seriousness, Sarasa clips need to be in the US. We need to, we need to have the Sarasa clip here. Wow. That was intense. My heart is pounding. <laughs> I found my zen. <laughs> I have an addictive personality. I just care a lot about stationery. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd be... Maybe I'm the HR guy. <laughs> I wonder if there's a control group office at the zen pen office. <sighs> Chat, this was a wonderful stream today. These could be the same actors that are in the HR training videos. That's exactly what this group of actors is. If any of y'all have ever been in a company that, that makes you sit through the HR training videos, that's this group. This is like mega off Broadway. <laughs> this is the this is the safety, the safety video troop. Oh my gosh. Chat, we're gonna wrap it here. Is there anyone we can throw it to? I'm not even paying attention. I'm wiped out. I'm exhausted. Oh, let's see who's doing what. Let's see who's doing what. I don't know who's doing anything. Bats is doing stuff. Oh, man. MakerBuck's cutting things. Age of the Girls working. That is knitting. Let's go see Asia the girl. Whew, I'm beat. All right. Thanks for the stream chat. Homework. Oof. God, what do we have for homework? I'm not, you know what? No homework this weekend because it's my birthday weekend. I'm not doing homework on my birthday weekend. 
So that's what we're doing this week, chat. My birthday's on Sunday. I'm going to call up Todd. <laughs> we're going to talk about pens. <laughs> So no homework for Brad this weekend. All right, deal, deal. Homework, don't get COVID. Facts, we are staying away. We are staying away, all right? August babies, Leo gang, rise up. Todd is real. Todd is real, don't say that. <laughs> Todd is real. <laughs> mustache Todd, non-mustache Todd. All of it. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Eat cake. Like, my wife's working all weekend. It's going to be a lame birthday weekend. I'm going to make up for it in San Francisco, though. All right? Y'all go hang out. Age of the girl. Having a chill work stream. Y'all chill. This can be a come down stream. <laughs> I think everyone needs to come down a little bit from this stream today, chat. Find your zen. Thank you, Zebra, for sending me all this stuff. Y'all go relax now. Find your zen. Thank you.